Hello, it's Brick Bros UK with the latest LEGO Nexo Knights minifigure accessory pack 853676 which we got from that LEGO shop. And it comes out to coincide with the Season 2 sets that released in January but as you might have noticed from the pack you only get 3 Royal Soldier minifigures with no Squire Bot which is a bit of a letdown because there was a Squire Bot in the last pack. But it's still the usual price costing £10.99, p, $14.99 and €12.99 and in Australia it's $19.99 and it's worth getting if you want to build a knight and army so now let's open it up and build these minifigures. And here they are in all their orange and blue glory so as you can see you get three new and exclusive Royal Soldiers of Knighton that we haven't seen in any set before and if you're looking for variety for your army this is the pack to get plus all the minifigures have lots of accessories, weapons and extras which is good to see. And like we said before you sadly don't get a squire bot but you do get the Nexo Power Flash Cannon which you can use in the game so this is a positive but without stalling any longer let's get a closer look at each soldier. And starting with the first royal soldier he carries the most weapons and accessories of the three and he's got the standard trans orange shoulder armour piece as well as the blue helmet with rim most knight and soldiers wear. But what's really cool is he comes armed with a trans orange spear and at the back they've skillfully used the studs on his armour to attach a modified dark grey round tile so his silver crossbow can be stored here which is handy plus a good use of the armour studs. Then in his other hand he has a silver nexo knight shield with the power flash cannon clipped on. And that's all of the knight's weapons and armour so if we remove it all we can get a better look at his legs, torso and head. And as you can see this soldier has really nice printed armor on his legs and torso creating his blue light blue and gray outfit with the orange king's lion head emblem in the center. But our favorite part of the minifigure is his unique silver head that has a targeting eye printed on the face and it's a welcome change to the standard soldier heads in the sets. And at the back the torso printing continues so overall he's a very cool soldier of Knighton and we'd love to see his unique head and maybe the crossbow attachment turning up on set soldiers in the future. Moving on the second royal soldier is probably our favorite because he comes with the big eye slit blue knight helmet that gives him a pretty boss look. He also has the same trans orange shoulder armor as the first soldier but is equipped with an axe that has a grey handle and trans orange axe head which is a color you don't see on axe heads often. Then at the back they've also made use of his armor studs by attaching a grey clip where he can store his axe which is a nice handy touch and in his other hand instead of the usual shield he has a silver sword. And if we take off his armor and weapons this soldier has the same torso and legs as the first one but his silver head is different and unique because he has this grumpy moustache face that gives him a very nice sergeant major sort of look. So overall he's another cool royal soldier to get. And the final royal soldier doesn't have shoulder armour but his torso and legs are different because they're light grey but have similar blue and light blue armour printing with the king's orange lion emblem in the centre. He also wears this silver face guard helmet that looks very cool and on top of it it's got a trans orange feather which is a flame piece but it adds to his nexo knights look. Now he only comes equipped with this one weapon which is this long silver sword but it's a pretty good weapon to have for fighting the stone army and at the back there's more good armor printing on the torso. And if we remove his helmet like the others he also has a unique silver head that has a stubble face which is a nice look for a royal soldier and again it's refreshing to see another new head. So overall this royal soldier might not have as many accessories and weapons as the other two but it's good his torso, legs and head are different. Plus his silver helmet and sword give him more of a knight look which is different so he'd be well worth having in your army. On a final note this new Nexo Knights minifigure accessory pack will probably get a mixed response because on the positive side it's a good price for free new and exclusive royal soldiers for your army and they're all well armed plus have cool armor and helmets with individual heads so will add variety to your ranks. However on the negative side you don't get a squire bot like last year's pack which is a letdown and we also feel they could have offered fans some new and interesting minifigures in this pack similar to the Elemental Masters Ninjago pack so fans could maybe get their hands on some of the characters from the Nexo Knights TV series that haven't appeared in minifigure form yet because character packs are always popular. But having said that we'd recommend it to army builders but to fans that want a fun Nexo Knights play experience one of the smaller sets might be a better choice. 
Hope you enjoyed Brick Bros UK LEGO review and don't forget to check our channel for more LEGO reviews and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.